Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. And we start with finally back on Earth, taking a live look here right now at the space capsule carrying NASA astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore. After more than nine months on the International Space Station, the stranded crew just splashed down off the coast of Florida. It happened just two minutes ago. Uh, we're talking about just off the area off of Tallahassee. We're going to try to bring that video of that splash down as soon as we're able to turn that around. But obviously just a, a momentous time these past few 10 to 12 minutes. I was just watching as it was pro progressing through uh, the atmosphere. Yeah, nothing anticlimactic no. about it. I mean, they were up there for more than nine months. It was supposed to be supposed to be I believe an eight or nine day mission and uh, yeah some things went wrong and so they had to basically stay up there for a lot longer than expected so they were having helium leaks and thruster malfunctions that's what happened with that original vessel that they were on so NASA made that decision to uh, essentially have them up there and be part of the crew for those nine months so they can get them down safely like we are witnessing right here here is that splashdown right before it happened you see there's four parachutes there and then Bam, right there in the water. And that's exactly what they want it to happen. That because is exactly what they want. Before it happens, they were explaining how at that orbit around the Earth, it, they're traveling at some 17,000 miles an hour. It is a, obviously a crazy fast speed where then it gets up, picks right. up more speed. And then the heat, when you enter the atmosphere, gets up to 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And I was Ooh. looking at the quote to-do list, and they <laughs> said for them to put their iPads away, to, <laughs> to strap their belts in, and to put the visors down, which I thought, oh, that's interesting that they have to tell them to put their iPads away, but you know, you got the instructions. Okay, make sure your phone is in, you know, exactly. airplane mode. Exactly. You want to make sure it's in well, That's the undocking that moment okay. that happened too, because we were able oh, to get some cool. of that footage too. Because I mean, fascinating, it really is. I, I just don't think you can ever get enough when you start, to, you know, doing these stories about the space exploration and also, like you said, Ty, some of the problems that they run into. You have to give these men and women credit yeah. for really being so versatile um, to be able to handle these. Well, problems. as astronauts going up into space, they always know that anything could come their way as part of their training. I mean, you, when you're told it's going to be an eight-day mission, you know that anything could go wrong. I mean, you're going into space. There's so many things that can happen, and some of those things did happen. And of course, they had to stay up there yeah. a lot longer than that. But the good news today, they're back home safe. Now they, they have are. to uh, do all the things they have to do. Now they've returned to Earth. I mean, when you're in space for nine months, that's no oh, your joke. Body there's a, is going there's a lot physically, and I'm, I'm sure emotionally and mentally right. too, that you've gone through. So we're going to be following them on that part of the journey. Yes, starting our six o'clock with that live story.